Welcome everybody to the Paper Outpost. This is Pam and I'm extra happy today for some unknown reason so I thought I'd craft. And what I did was I somebody reminded me on, a, on the Facebook group, the Paper Outpost Facebook group, of this little idea and uh, these have been done uh, for their classics on the internet. You can find them all over the place but I wanted to put a little twist on it that might make them just a little bit easier to make um, it, with basic supplies. So basically this is constructing a dress out of paper uh, put onto a book page. A little closer so you can get a good look at it. Nothing fancy here. Well it's a fancy dress but it didn't start out as a fancy dress. No, no siree Sally Mae. It started out as a napkin. That's right. A plain kitchen napkin. And I thought, wouldn't it be fun? A lot of people uh, have napkins, colored napkins, and you can make really pretty dresses with uh, pattern napkins. But let's say you don't have a pattern napkin or you live in one of those, uh, you know, places where pattern napkins don't exist. Um, I heard a lot of that from, uh, from my subbies here. So I thought, well, I'm going to listen. I'm going to see if we can do, do a workaround that's something everybody could make. And I thought of these kitchen napkins that you can get at mostly any Walmart or any, any kind of convenience store. Or even if you don't have that, I would consider maybe a McDonald's napkin or a Panera back napkin or uh, one that you can uh, pick up from your local food joint. Uh, I know they have napkins so uh, let's consider that. Okay let, this is what I did. It's very easy. Okay and it used very little napkin honestly. Um, okay so I'm going to take one napkin and we don't even use one napkin. Okay take the pretty page away and show the reality of everything. Okay uh, so what I did was I took a napkin and I opened it up. Yes. Yes, I did. I was very feeling very bold. Okay, so there it is. And yeah, let me just back out a bit so we can get, see a little more of that on there. Oh, we'll just take that away. Okay, so now what I decided, I wanted a print on my little dress. So I decided I just grabbed some black soot ink and a stamp. And I just happened to have this little flower stamp. Okay, I got these on AliExpress, unknown uh, seller, but uh, you can find them. I would just look for tree stamps or something like that, or tree log stamps. But uh, anyway, I just went to town and this is what I did. Can you see me? Yeah, okay. Just went around and I did my stamping. That's right, just random stamperoo. You can turn them, you can do whatever you like. Some can be light, some can be dark, and uh, actually, once I figured this out and I stamped my whole thing, I ended up using only one quarter of the page of the of the napkin. So that's what we're going to do here. I'm just going to stamp up one quarter. I'm just going to put lots of these on here. I just I just really want a frilly one this time. Okay, going off the angle there, going there, and I think that's pretty good. So that was pretty easy, right? Just grab your favorite stamp and stamp a roux. So as you can see from the other one. I still have three pieces left of it which I haven't used so there's more dresses or maybe I'll do uh, lederhosen or something. You never know. Okay so let's just cut this out. Where did my scissors go? They were right here. They <laughs> I swear to god they can't go far. How, how far could they possibly go? I cleaned my desk. Hang on. Found them. They were under the, uh, the paper I just moved. Okay not quite losing the mind yet but getting close. Okay. <laughs> All right here we are just cutting this out. Very easy to cut. Any scissors will do. Probably wouldn't tear this because it'll tear if you if you try and uh, uh, ruler tear it. So I would I would rely on the good old scissors in this this situation. All right, there you have it. Okay, so now we need something to, to work upon. So I grabbed. This is a book page. And it is from Don Juan with uh, much, you know, romance and things there behind. And uh, so I have more of that. What do I have? I just have a pile of something here. Lord Byron, Don Juan. All right, we'll do Lord Byron this time. All right, Lord Byron, come with me. This is just a regular old uh, vintage book page. And I thought, well, the white on the cream will uh, not pop that much. So I decided to darken the background a little bit. And what I did was I just took my, my uh, ink dauber that's kind of full of ink already. And here's where I get this little guy coming in. And you can use a magazine to do this on so you don't ink up your, your desk. Um, but uh, I just kind of went around 
and I need more ink. Okay, I'm using whoop, walnut stain ink, ink, Distress Oxide this time, just because it was handy. Not even sure if that's what I used the last time. And I'm just kind of going around, giving it, I'm not purposefully haloing, but I know that my, um, my design is going to be in the center and I want to have, I'm just going to go over the whole thing. Basically, that's it. Pretty simple. Nothing fancy schmancy here. It may be a fancy dress, but it is not a fancy technique. And we don't have to tell anybody that. It'll be our little secret. Okay, so there we go. And you may want to, maybe you want the edges darker, like in the corners or something. That's fine. You can do that. It's yours. Um, or you could just start with a darker page in the beginning. It doesn't have to be a book, book page. You know, maybe you want more contrast. Maybe you want to make it on this kind of paper, you know, with a print. That would look kind of pretty too, right? Okay, so the world is your oyster. I want you to know that. You have complete freedom to run and play and run amok. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right, there we have our background. We are all set. So now here's the, the highly technological part of this. Let me see if I can just this. Didn't cut that very well. That's okay. We won't worry about that too much. Where else would be? Okay, we'll do it. Let me just trim you off. I would just like a nice straight edge. I want a little foldy loo there. Okay, just hopefully making my life easier here. Yep, we can hope. All right, here we go. Here we go, and we're done. Okay, there we go. Um, so what I did was basically I did something like this. I took it and I decided to um, basically just squish it together. And uh, how did I do that? Long ways? Okay, we'll take the longest way and then we just gather it. That's what I did. Like that. And you have an instant dress shape. Now you can make your bodice taller or shorter. And my bot, like you could make a dress that has spaghetti straps here or something like that and use that for the whole bodice. But what I ended up making was something like I call a Lucille Ball dress. She used to wear dresses of this style with the V-neck in front. I think she did anyway. Uh, I don't know why. It just reminds me of Lucille Ball. <laughs> and uh, that one, I just basically put a cut down here and then split the paper. So I'm going to show you exactly what I did there so you can get an idea. All right. Okay, so that's basically what we're going to do. Now, um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put that over there for a second because I, I need to pre-treat this a little bit. And what I use is my, this is not my lunch. Somebody thought this was my lunch before. I thought that was so cute. This is my Mod Podge container. And uh, I have uh, I have Mod Podge in it. And uh, this is my Mod Podge applicator. It's just a, a sponge that I use. And I'm just going to put down a thin coat so the uh, napkin has somewhere to grab I'm not going to put it too thick because I don't want glue seepage through. I don't think this is going to happen with the Mod Podge, but you never know. Just go with a light coat. And it's okay if it's a little bigger than your uh, um, your actual dress because um, it will just strengthen your page, you know, giving it a little bit of a, a leathery feel. That's okay, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so there we have that. Can you still see? Am I in? I think so. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So now we have this and we've squashed it and we've decided where our bodice will be. All right. Or the, uh, the top part of the dress. And then what I'm going to do, just flowering it out a little bit so I get my little pleaties and get your little pleaties the way you want them. And then I'm going to take a pair of scissors. I think I tore it last time, but I, this time I, I'm thinking of it ahead of time. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to cut down about there. All right. So now I made a little split and you can kind of play with the paper depending on where the, the design came out nicely. Um, all right. So what we're going to do is we're just going to stick it down. So enough yakking and here we go. Make sure it fits in the uh, borders of your paper. Stick to the fingers now. You have to work gingerly because it is just one napkin. Well, it's not a pl double ply or anything. This is just like a regular cheapo. Um, I think it was an Aldi one. Uh, yep. Okay. And there we go. You got your little dress. All right. Put that there. Put that there. You can like smush them together at the top if you want a little more of like a, a sleeve shape. All right. There. And go for your pleaties if you want your pleaties showing. Decide where you're going to glue them. And doop, doop, doop. And if it's getting dry, you can always reapply more Mod Podge. All right. Okay. There we go. And we're down. All right. 
Okay, so we have basic dress shape. Now this one is a little more long and lean. This is a little more bouffant. So you can see the two different styles. You know, I'm a different designer. I can make different styles, right? Okay, this is more like Zsa Zsa Gabor. And this is more like Lucille Ball. Yes, here we go. Um, okay. So I'm going to use finger tool. And I am just going to apply a thin amount, a thin amount, um, to these areas to get them to adhere a little bit more better. And I can shape them with my finger tool and my Mod Podge. I'm just dipping into the Mod Podge very lightly, a little bit, so I, it glues it down. There we go. Now, I wasn't sure if I Mod Podge the whole thing, if the dress would just disappear because it's just a thin piece of um, um, napkin. But we could try that this time because I didn't hear, and maybe I will do that here, and we will live on camera see what happens. So we will have the finality of, of what was the right thing to do. I wish that one was darker, but you know, that's the way it goes. Um, that's okay. Um, all right. So next, what I did was I, I put a little belt on her. And this one is so cute. I mean, I almost, I have this, this faux suede stuff, but I like the black on the back. That would be really cute on the back for a little black belt. Let me try that. I'm just going to try a little black belt. on. know this is, I think, a thinner black belt. Yes. This will be a thinner one. I don't need much. I'm just cutting a tiny piece going in for the measure. Do I at least get across? And you want to be like kind of close, maybe even a smidge smaller than all the way across, just to make sure that it doesn't stick out beyond the dress too much. Um, let's see how this comes out. Okay. Here. I think that's going to be perfect. All right, let me grab... Here is my new my container for my Fabrifix. I now have the lid on the bottom. That seems to solve the glue coming out the bottom problem. But the glue is always ta -da, at the ready. Oh yeah, here we go. Um, and that only seems to be an issue when you get down to like a third or you know like half or a third left. And then all of a sudden your glue starts to want to volcano out of the top. Anybody who's had this glue knows that, but it's still worth it because this is amazing glue. It's a clear silicone glue that's awesome to glue down fabric. And I'm gluing a little piece of fabric onto this paper and it just grabs right away, almost like a, um, a hot glue, but it's not hot. It has all the grabosity of the hot glue without being having to burn your fingers. Remember those days? I mean, maybe maybe we still use them. I don't, I, honestly, I don't, I, I never grab for my hot glue gun anymore. Um, now that Fabrifix is here, this is just so much easier. Okay, all right, let's just give her a little waste. Come on, get that over there. Okay, here we go. There, okay, there, there we go. Oh, okay, I got the glue on the fabric now. Okay, it's, it's rolling off though, that's good. We have this. Okay, so we have a little belt. And uh, you know, I'm just, I'm going with my inner, my inner dress designer. Okay, who am I kidding? I have no inner dress designer um, uh, mindset here. I am just going with what I think might be fun. And uh, I think I'm going to put little bows on each of her uh, shoulders there. This is just some, um, looks like, you know, embroidery floss. Somebody said there's one place you pull and it always works. And apparently the other place you pull, it never works. And apparently that's one I found before, but I think I found the good one this time. Okay, so let me try little bows. See how I do. All right. Now, I think there's a way to uh, get the little bow tails to come out on the bottom. If you do the bunny ear one, you know where you do two bunny ears? Let's see if it works. Probably not. All right, I'm thinking positive. It might. Okay, oh, that was really funky looking bow. No, nope, they look like they're on opposite sides. Or same, yep. Yeah. Okay. I know there's some trick to it. All right, here we go. It doesn't matter. I'm just rolling with it. And I'm making my little tiny bow. I'm just pulling in the, the bow, le bow strings to make it the size I want. Then I'm cutting off the strings. Okay. Yeah. And I think I'll just put a little dab will do you here. One little dab. That's all you need. The stuff is super strong. Works great. All right. There we go. Oh, and uh, what's very handy with this, which, you know, would be nice if I remembered, um, would be tweezers. Yeah, to place tiny little things. Remember to get the glue off your tweezers, though, because it can be a little um, grabby otherwise. Okay, I'm just tucking that in there. There we go. And one more. I can do one more. That wasn't so bad. Um, now you may like that, you may not like that, but you know, whatever uh, your dress design will be, then it will be as you see fit to make it. And uh, okay, I'm just going to make this one the old-fashioned way. All right, 
I can make a bow, I can make a bow. Okay, here we go, making the bow. All right, there. And then I retract my ever so large loops back to the size I want them and uh, tighten it up a bit. But I'm gonna glue it down so I'm not too worried if the bow isn't super tight. I just want it to be kind of close to the size of the other one. I think that's pretty good. Here, just a little smaller. Okay, we're good. Yay! Okay. Ah, now look at that. These two came out on the bottom. The two strings. Who knew? Um, I, I don't know what the magic is behind that, but um, there's probably somebody who will let us know, and that will be wonderful because we all learn. Okay, here we go. All right, and I'm going to use my tweezers this time. Highly uh, laboratory technician style here. I will pick up the fly and place it onto the petri dish. All right, there we go. You're not a fly. I know, I know. We're just having fun. Here we go. Tuck in there. Okay, there. All right, so we have that. And then you say to yourself, well, what else we could do? I mean, there's there's a myriad of things you can do. I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the little shoes on because I did that in the, the previous one. And I'll decorate the belt up a little bit more. So what I grabbed for my shoes was some good old laundered bed sheet, which goes forever. I've been tearing on this one bed sheet for 100 years. But I think brown is not the right color. I think she wants black shoes. And since I have this little black piece here, I think I'm just going to make two more shoes. And basically, I made the two little shoes like this. It's not, it's very similar to the way we make the flower petals. Basically, I fold um, the paper or the fabric in half. And then I'm just going to cut my little, my little um, almost like ballet slipper style uh, shoes, shoe foot, like the front of the foot sticking out. Oh, this one might be too big. I'm just going to big <laughs> clump her feet. Uh, we'll make her have prettier feet than that. My goodness. Okay. All right. Yeah, they're a little big. Yeah, let me make that a little smaller. Okay. All right, I'll take you down. Take you down a notch. Uh, all right, how's that? Yeah, that's not bad. Maybe it's just a smidge smaller. I mean, dainty, dainty little expression of feet at the bottom, I would say, would be cute for this little dainty dress. You know, if you have more of a country dress, some more of a, like, you know, sissy spake sick kind of dress, then maybe, oh, that almost looks like a little ballet slipper. Oh, I do like that. Okay. So then when you have it uh, doubled over, you just cut the the little spine you've made, boom, and now you have two little shoes. Okay, now I can cut, tuck my shoes under, or I can even make my shoes a little shorter too. Maybe I'll make them just a smidge shorter. They're kind of long. She'll have very long feet otherwise. Okay, I just want little shoes peeking out the bottom, and uh, you can glue them down with, you know, pretty much any glue will work, but let's, okay, we'll try the, and I like to keep them kind of close to the center, as if they're, um, I've got the glue everywhere like that. Um, Dainty little ballerina feet kind of close to the center. Okay, so now I can kind of position as I wish. And I can always uh, glue any skirt that's blowing up. Uh, doing a Marilyn Monroe thing here. Okay, there we go. Those are a little closer together. Come on over. Come on over. You can be closer. Oh, no, you're stuck. To me. Oh, no, she's got one foot ahead of the other. Okay, come on down. Okay, now here's something I would not recommend doing because I tried it and I would say it was a fail. Uh, I used the art glitter glue. I thought with this amazing little nibby, I could just slip under the dress and tack it down. But as you can see, it, sh it made a mark. And I, I don't think that mark's going to go away. So I'm not going to use art glitter glue for this project. I'm going to stick finger tool <laughs> back in the Mod Podge. And I'm going to go for a below the dress sweep. Yeah, if there's anything that's not sticking that needs to be sticking, because maybe the Mod Podge dried before I got the dress down, that's what I'm doing. Okay, and everybody's going. Everybody's behaving and not disappearing on me. Okay, if there's any other little areas that need a little extra, because um, my Mod Podge was pretty dry. Oh, oh, back over there. Okay, there we go. All right, we have that. You want a little more too? Okay, there you go. There we go. All right. Now, definitely keep your um, wet nap or your wipe at the hand ready because uh, you'll need it. All right. Okay. All right. Just get rid of these little unknowns. You go away. Okay. Um, got that. And now we're going to, should we decorate the little shoes? I, I, I think what I'd like to do is maybe, hmm. You know, I want these to be a little fancier shoes. And uh, I don't think bows are the way to go with this one. But I'm going to, this is a... This is really not meant to write on uh, fabric. It's a gel, Uniball Signo gel, white gel pen. 
I have these linked below if you're interested, but there, I think I'm going to try and make it look like a, let me do a test one. Let me stop yapping and test it. I'm going to, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I'm just going to make like a little U, like this is where the foot would go in there. And this is where the foot is. Like, you know, you know what I mean? When you look down at a ballet slipper, that's like where the foot would be slipped into. Now, I don't know how if that came out that great, but I think it gives a, a, a little expression of that. Yes, just a suggestion. Yes. Okay, so now um, maybe some dangles. Do we want little like, uh, uh, oh, maybe I could do like something like this. Yes, I think I'll do that. Okay, so I want a little more hanging from the waist and maybe not that long, <laughs> but maybe I want to put a bow or something. Maybe, okay, let me put a bow. Let's see how that goes. Might not be the right look for this dress of elegance. Maybe that's too, uh, too. Uh, I don't know. Too something goofy. Yeah, that's too, maybe too goofy. Um, smaller. Let's try smaller. 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 Oop. Smaller. Oop. A little smaller. Okay. Now. Okay, that's kind of cute. Um, now I kind of like that. All right. Now it would be really, really nice if this one came the, the same way, but it didn't. That's okay. Maybe I'll just force it. Okay, how about that? And then I can cut them to my length. Okay, all right. Yeah. There, maybe I'll have it poke, just poke up above the belt so it can be seen. Oh, that's a lot of glue there, Pam. Okay, let's see if we can recapture something. We can never get it back inside once it's out. It's out. When it's out, it's out. Okay, there we go. Now, i am got to put it in the right spot the first time. Here we go. And we're down. And that's all you get. You get that one chance in life sometimes. <laughs> and then you just got to roll with it. Okay, now I think I will cut these the way maybe. Uh, I think if they're long, then they're more elegant, right? Kind of sweeping. Okay, with the dress. I think that's kind of pretty. Okay, I can push those together a little more. Oh, I'm stuck. Okay, get the tweezers in here. This is where tweezers really come in handy. Okay, there we go. All right. So now we have that. And okay, I'm going to be brave. And I, I'm not going to put pearls on her. I put pearls on this one just for fun. This was actually Christmas decoration for the tree. Uh, so you can reuse and repurpose things for that. Uh, but I think I'm going to try Mod Podging the whole thing and seeing what it looks like. And uh, see if my, my entire dress disappears or if the uh, ink smudges. Hang on. Okay, I'm back. And uh, can you guys see? Am I too far away? Maybe I'll go closer. Whoop. No, not there. There. Whoa, that's much closer. Okay, let's just back you out a little bit. Okay, there we go. All right, so now I just grabbed a cheapo Craft Smart uh, brush. And I have no idea what's going to happen here, here, but I'm going to dip it in the Mod Podge. Thin application, oh, maybe that's a medium application, but I don't want to injure the, the dress too much. Um, just going to go over these little sections, see what happens. And hopefully the Mod Podge will all dry clear. The little dress sleeves are going to deflate, I think. Okay, I'm just going to just going to go for it. Go lightly. Oh, the dress is not disappearing. That's good. Okay, I am. Oops, come back here. All right, here we go. Down the side. Lightly, it doesn't seem to be tearing the dress. And this is like a one um, layer napkin. It's not a fancy napkin or anything. Um, this is just thick earth because I think there's more napkin up here. That's okay. And a little bit more. And go over the shoes. They don't run anywhere. I think I lost my, uh, my little outlines there. That's okay. I just want to see what happens. All right, so we have this. Now, I should go run and wash that, but I won't do that right now. I am going to blow dry this, okay, with my heat gun. And I'm going to just uh, do it off camera so you don't have to listen to this horrible noise. Hang on. Okay, so there we have it. Actually, not too bad. I would say um, this is uh, pretty much dry. Pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. But um, yeah, I would say it still maintains its whiteness against the background, which is very nice. And I'm happy with that. And now it's going to have a nice little leathery uh, finish with the Mod Podge. So it's going to stay anchored down well. I think also this one is very pretty. It's a little more 
fluffy, billowy, cottony looking dress. This is more elegant, uh, you know, evening style dress. We have Zsa Zsa and uh, uh, who was that? Lucille, <laughs> Lucille Ball. Okay, so now we could be, what time is it? I'll tell you. Okay, we have five minutes. Okay, we could be totally done, but we could do more. And you're saying, I know what you're gonna do, Pam. I know exactly what you're gonna do. Don't do it, the dress is perfectly fine. Back away now. But I don't hear you for some reason today, so I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna put some stickles on it. Yeah, and now I think I'm just gonna put some very hmm, plain, just little sparklies. Like, let's say this is more of a, like a, a prom dress or something like that, where you just wanna have a little pizzazz. Can you see? Yeah, you're pretty close. Okay, so I'm just gonna put, this is stickles in icicle color. I would say it's it's got some rose gold, little green flecks, but it's like a it's like a clear, but it has a little pizzazz too. Okay, so I'm just gonna do some random dollops, down up, down up, down up on these little flower designs, just to make them a little fancier. So we're going to the ball. That's where we're going. We're going to the ball, so we gotta pull out all the stops. You might meet Mr. or Mrs. Wonderful. You never know. So, oh, that's very pretty, actually. I'm glad I did it. All right, see, you never know. And what, it, what, if I ruined it, I could just grab another square and start over. No big deal, right? Um, yeah, <laughs> no love lost there. Oh, that was a big one. Okay, now that will fancy him up a little bit. And just put a few here. Whoa, really got went crazy there. And uh, just putting some blops down. And then, yes, I will set these just aside to dry. <laughs> I promise. And uh, we are good. So we will put a little bit up here just around the neckline where it is. There's a little back there, a little here. Oop. This one's coming up real thick. I think I cut the end off that. Yeah, whatever you do, if it gets plugged, my original solution was to just cut the end off. Don't do that. Use the pin. Use a pin to clear it because then you don't make a giant opening and then you get big blops that come out. Uh, so, well, just for balance, I think I will. Do I need balance? Maybe not. Oh, let's just put one or two down here. Okay. I'll put it up there. Okay, put seven. All right. <laughs> All right, so there you go. Oh, I I look at even my little uh, ballet shoes uh, with the white still came through. Maybe I can draw on that a little bit more. Let me see if it comes up. Okay. Choo, choo. Choo, choo. Choo, choo. There. Okay. Now, here are the two Dunsies. Don't touch them, Pam. Be good. Okay, I'll just move this so you can you can see on a nicer background. All right, so there they are completed. Now you could go to town and you could do a nice big floppy hat on the side or a little pair of demure gloves off to the side. Something like that would be so cute. But uh, now you're saying, well, what on earth do I do with these things? Thank, thank you very much, uh, uh, Miss uh, Pam at the Paper Outpost, but that's uh, what on earth do I do with those things? Uh, well, you could do many things with them. You could just glue them right down to a blank journal page or a journal page that has text on it or something, just as a, a pop, like a, a, of appeal and interest, different textures. Uh, something like that or you could make this um, you could make this into part of your cover possibly if you want to uh, fr like do a little frame or put sheets behind it and build it up and this would be your top piece something like that maybe for a vintage or a Victorian journal uh, this could be a page in a small booklet um, there's so many different things that you could do with this oh I didn't finish the last thing right I want to show you okay so this one I ran around with the Stabilo pencil around the outside just to uh, get it to pop a little bit more, but I think this one is actually popping well So I'm not going to touch it because the white contrasting with the darker brown seems to have a good pop actually this um, Putting the Mod Podge on makes the white even whiter. So I don't know but basically all I did was I ran around the edge I ran right into my stickles. I ran right around the edge with the uh, Stabilo pencil I have this link below if interested, but it's a water-soluble um, pencil looks like charcoal basically and then you take a q-tip you wet your q-tip and you run around the edge and you and it blends it a little bit it, it, it starts to dissolve the uh, graphite the water soluble graphite and then it gives you a bit of a halo around and you can pull it out to emphasize your subject matter uh, just a little bit there so um yeah, so those are a couple things that you can do with this. Very pretty, very fun. And uh, that's pretty much it. So I hope you had fun. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, come please check us out on the Facebook group. We're having lots of fun out there and it is open to everybody and it is free. You just come on over to the regular Facebook page and look for a visit group and click on that and it'll walk you through the process. Very easy to join. And we're doing weekly challenges and monthly challenges, which are fun and simple. And um, 
So come on out and, and enjoy those with us. Um, we're learning from each other. It's a very friendly, very happy, very positive group, uh, very uplifting. I always come away with a million ideas. You guys have my head spinning. And uh, also, please check out my podcast. I have lots of podcasts on different topics that I don't uh, necessarily address here on the YouTube channel, but the podcast you can listen to on Apple Podcast or Google Podcast or Spotify. Or if you don't have any of those, you can just go to Anchor FM, the paper outpost, and you will find my podcast. There's also a link below for all of that below. And I talk about coffee dyeing and, uh, you know, inspiration for uh, journals, themes about journals, um, the messy desk, the, the scrap pile, um, are you a craft hoarder, uh, you know, why is crafting fun, why, why do you find joy in crafting, a lot of things that are related to the junk journal world uh, that uh, just uh, gives us a different platform to express different thoughts uh, differently. Okay, so we have that, and what else? We have... Um, Time check. Okay, we have um, uh, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Yep, I think those are those are the places to find me. And um, what else? Um, oh, I also started on LinkedIn. And um, something else I wanted to tell you. Oh, oh, all my playlists are linked down below. So let's say you are enjoying uh, this. How to um, using up book pages? Ideas to do that. Uh, you can find other related uh, using up book page. Uh, videos in the series. They're linked in my Using Up Book Page playlist, which I've linked down below and at the end of most videos. You can find all my favorite tools and supplies below on, on the in the description box um, uh, on most videos. And um, also, I think that's about it. Yes. Okay, so we'll wrap it up there. Um, remember that it's awesome to be creating with reckless abandon and that fun, remember fun can be simple and I can't wait to get together with you guys really soon. Be talking soon. Take care everyone. Bye-bye. Have a happy crafty day. Bye.